Hey y'all and welcome back to Kinda Katie. As I mentioned in a previous video, I recently served as a ranger at Alumni Reunion Weekend a couple weeks ago. And while I was there, I met the grandson of a post 50th grad who suggested after having somehow found my obscure YouTube channel that I do a video tour of Williams founder, Ephraim Williams grave located in the basement of Thompson Chapel, little known fact. And we'll be going on a quick tour of the church itself because I feel like we should probably do that. And then I will show you on this dark and stormy night where parts of Ephraim Williams now reside. Hmm. Welcome to Thompson Memorial Chapel, which was dedicated in 1905 as a Protestant church, but is now meant to be a house for all students of religious and non-religious backgrounds on campus. I am certainly not an expert in church architecture, although I did study a lot of basilicas in an art history class I took last semester, but I will say that it gets the kind of Katie stamp of approval in terms of being very pretty. To the right of the altar, you'll see this giant plaque commemorating Ephraim Williams, but be not fooled, this is not the final resting place of the founder. For that, you will have to go into the bowels of the chapel basement, where you will find this random stone wall that I did not notice after probably a hundred trips past it. And here he is behind a door with his initials and a nice doorknob. The story goes that he was buried somewhere when he you know, died in 1755. And then when the college built this chapel 150 years later, they just brought him over, but it had been 150 years, so they only had part of him. And also, they don't know if it was him that they actually recovered in the first place from the battlefield. So this might be some other rando. That's all. It's just the door.